Greetings and welcome back to the workshop. Today, we're gonna to get this, the foot well plate in situ, which goes somewhere around here. Now, as you can see, it's got a hole in it, and the hole is for the pony wheel pivot. Before we get started in this video, if you would like to help support the Matt Tubers workshop and its channel, then I have signed up to a website called kofi.com where you can basically buy me a coffee. Well, it says coffee, but I actually prefer tea. It uses PayPal, it goes directly into my PayPal. There's no subscription, there's nothing hard and fast. If you want to donate, you can donate. You can donate as much as you want. You can also set up paying monthly. It's just a nice thing, nice gesture. Buy a cup of coffee. Well, tea. I do drink coffee but I do prefer tea. If that's something that you'll be interested in, the link's in the description, check it out, see what you think, on with the show. Right, so first things first, we need to get these angles bolted on there. I think beforehand, I'm just gonna dress this edge here. Right, so I've just given them a quick, quick dusting off to get rid of the black, so that when we weld it along these edges here, it'll give us a good a good weld. I've also got to do the back of this, but I've got to do the edges. Uh, I thought we'll do that in a minute, so I'll just get this plate out of the way. These are the shortest bolts I have at the moment. Now, if you're thinking I've not put any nuts on the back, that's because I have, I've tapped these holes. I thought I'd give that a try to see how that would work. Every second hole, that one's tapped as well. Right, we'll now slide the tread plate in because it should sit on top of these threads of the bolts as well, hopefully. Because I'm just gonna mark here and then clean that off with the sander. And then give all the edges a quick, a quick blast of the sander uh, just to make sure there's no sharp, sharp bits. And I just need to check because we might actually end up cutting cutting a strip off the front there. Right, so just clean where that line is so we can get a decent weld because we don't want that falling off, do we? So as you saw, I did this, the end plate, I cleaned that top edge and I also cleaned that edge of there. Now that's because when we've got the pivot sorted for the pony wheel, these two plates will be stitched together or fully welded, I've not decided which. It'll also give the chassis a lot more rigidity and hopefully stop it from potentially twisting, which I don't think it will. Oh, 
that measures the same. That measures the same. So I'll let that cool and then I'll give it a quick clean and then that's ready to come back off so we can sort this hole out. So there we go, that's the hose on. Now, I'm really not impressed with that anti-spatter. It's quite terrible. When that runs out, I'm never buying that one again. So next on that, we need to open this hole out. So I'm not deciding what size just yet. I'm gonna go away and do a bit of research before we continue. So I'm gonna end the video here. If you do like what you've seen on the videos, please do click the like button and that will help it share around YouTube. And by all means, click the subscribe button and the notification bell and you'll get notified when we next release a video which at the current rate uh, is quite regular so join me again for more trials and tribulations of the steam engine we are slowly chipping away at the large list of jobs that we need to do and we need to get done stay safe laters pivot pivot pin pin yeah